and today I just want to pass along some information to you guys. I know a lot of people out there, including myself, have had issues with their 2011 and newer Mustang when trying to shift at high RPMs, whether you're driving at the track or whether you're just doing some spirited driving on the street. When you try and shift at 7,000 or even sometimes a little bit higher uh, if you have an aftermarket tune, the clutch will actually get sucked down almost all the way to the floor, making it very difficult to shift, and this can get very aggravating. Um, and a guy actually posted in a forum a quick and easy fix for that, and I just wanted to kind of pass along that information to you guys. So basically this right here is the clutch assembly on the car and the main issue is this little guy right here. This spring is kind of like a helper spring and it basically allows the clutch uh, operator to be able to push the clutch in with a little bit less uh, force. So it makes it a little bit easier to push the clutch in but by doing that uh, it adds some tension to the clutch and when you get up in the upper RPMs it actually helps push the clutch down even when you're not putting your foot on the clutch. So basically what we need to do is go ahead and remove that spring. And the first step is to go ahead and remove the cruise control kill switch assembly. And the way we do that is you basically just twist the entire assembly and there's a little slot that you can see when you twist it. And it's very easy to just twist and you pull it right out. It takes less than a minute to do. Next what we need to do is go ahead and remove the clutch hydraulic arm from the left side of the pedal. And we do this by removing the clip. There's a little clip there uh, that you actually have to push down on one spot behind the clip. Uh, when you push it down, the clip just slides right off. Uh, once that is pushed off, you take the arm and you pull it off of the clutch pedal. You push a, put a little tension on the clutch pedal itself and uh, it should come off pretty easily. You just twist it a little bit and it'll come right off. And then once that is off, all you have to do is go ahead and pull up on the clutch. Pull it back towards you, towards the seat. And when you pull it up high, enough the spring will actually pop out and so will this little white piece uh, that it connects to and the black piece behind it you can go ahead and remove as well and this is basically what it looks like when it's all finished and everything has been taken out. Now once you have the spring out all you have to do is just go ahead and reassemble everything in the reverse order that you took everything out and then just go ahead and take it for a drive and make sure everything's working okay. The clutch will be a little bit stiffer um, than it was before just because you don't have this helper spring anymore but it's not too bad and there is a little bit of play at the very top portion of the pedal when you first go ahead to push the pedal down uh, but that's just because like I said you don't have this uh, spring anymore so that's normal um, but otherwise uh, this is basically the entire process it only takes about 15 minutes. If you have any questions at all feel free to ask uh, but definitely thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.